Hey, this is Patrick with iPad Insight. This afternoon I'd like to do a quick demo for you of Keynote for iPad. Keynote for iPad after a very nice little update that it had last week. Keynote is of course Apple's uh, PowerPoint equivalent for working with slide presentations and slideshows. It's available as a Mac desktop app, as an iPhone app, and as an iPad app. The iPad app is spectacularly good, really one of the flagship apps that you'll find in the iPad app store. Uh, amazingly easy and uh, effective to use for creating slideshows entirely on the iPad. You don't need to use it, worry about using a computer at all. It makes it very easy, intuitive, and you can create some great slideshows with it. So last week it was updated to version 1.6. Some of the notable features that were added in this update are um, a good range of transitions and builds to use in your slideshows, as well as some 3D charts that are fun to work with, tables and shapes, and the lovely little undo button that you can see towards the top left of the keynote screen there. Um, this was You were not able before to uh, undo actions in keynote, and it's great to have it there as it is in any sort of graphics or presentation type application. Anyway, let's take a look at um, slideshows and builds and transitions here. I haven't quite mastered how to make them uh, invoke automatically in the slideshow, so I'm just tapping once on the slide to um, bring up the image and have the transition effect. As you can see, it's got everything from that sort of crazy flames effect to some pretty standard um, build-in effects on the slides. And now on the um, charts, I'm going to go out of slideshow mode here, just let you see. You can just tap once to select a chart, then tap on this rotate tool, spin them around and kind of make them your own, which is neat. Tables I haven't really played with too much as yet, but it's nice to see them there. And undo is just great to have, so if we mess up and make this star shape too small, we can get it back up to where it needs to be. Very useful to have undo and a couple levels of it. I'm not entirely sure how many levels of undo. I haven't tested that out yet, but just to have it there is excellent. As I say, even before this update, Keynote was a stellar application. If you do a lot of presentations and you own an iPad, you're definitely going to want to give it a look. It's in the iPad App Store for $9.99, and obviously I'm giving it a big recommendation. That's about it for today. I hope you're all having a great Wednesday.